So, this video is a uh, viewer request from the real Indian baby. He changed his name to DTGN, died to get notice, and he wanted me to uh, talk about my concept or my opinion on hell. You know, he actually asked me this a couple times, and I and I, and I already know why he's asking because he's afraid of it, and you know, it's understandable. Um, Right now, I believe he's 19. I'm about to be 23. When I was his age, I had the same thoughts, you know. I'm a little bit older, so I kind of moved past certain ways of thinking, you know. Um, but um, I'm going to go ahead and break it down real quick. Uh, my thoughts about hell and things like that. Now, if anyone is ever curious about my thoughts of, of religion... Um, I, I know I have over 1,800 videos on my channel. I post all the fucking time. So, to be honest, I, I, I talk about so many different things, bro. It's So, it's it's highly likely that if you just either type in my name and type in something, it should pop up. Or if not, unfortunately, you got to keep on scrolling. But with the religion stuff that I talk about, if you if you just scroll back about two months ago... You know, let's scroll back. And to be honest, it should maybe take you maybe 30 seconds just to keep doing this. One, two, three. And then eventually you'll get to it. You know, where I break down religion like a goddamn blunt. Just break that motherfucker down. But <clears throat> let's talk about hell again. Okay. <clears throat> so, as I mentioned in previous videos, uh, the Bible to me is a man-made book designed to control people. It's a man-made book designed to have you do whatever someone tells you to do. All right? And how do you get people on mass? How do you get people? How do you get millions of people? Matter of fact, you know, religion is billions of people, billions of people to do what you want them to do. You have to use fear. No one cares about love. Even Tupac himself said it. I might put the clip right here. Fear is stronger than love. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Fear is stronger than love. Fear is stronger than love. Fear is stronger than love. Do what I say. And if we don't, you'll go to heaven. Then what's the point of listening to you? Do what I say. And if we don't, you'll burn for the rest of your life. What? Really? Oh, no. You know, that's all that shit was, man. You know, they got to make you listen somehow. So they established that to make you be obedient. You know? Why, why uh, believe in something that you, you that you yourself never seen before. I never seen hell before. Why am I gonna be afraid of shit I never fucking seen? <laughs> Stupid. And then <laughs> and then you have people in religion that say, prove to me that it doesn't exist. Well, how can I prove something that's not fucking real? That's like me telling you to prove to me that the two fairy that the two fairies real or not real. How are you going to do that when it's just not fucking real? How can you prove something that, that 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 didn't exist in the first damn place? You know, you can't even fucking prove that shit. I only believe something when there is evidence presented. If there's no evidence presented, then all, all you're talking to me is just fucking fairy tales. You know? It's all the Bible is. It's a fairy tale book. You know, that people believe. You, you know how people read comic books? And we watch, you know how people read comic books and we watch cartoons and anime? That's the fucking Bible. Oh shit, I'm watching Dragon Ball Z. So that means Goku is real. What, Kamehameha. I mean, this is fucking stupid, man. You just believe in a fucking fictional book, you know? Stupid, but back to the the guy to make the video, the real Indian baby, you know, if you if you want to know, if you, if you want to learn, if you want to know more about religion, I already discussed like a lot of videos about it about two months back but long story short 
they put hell in there to make people listen because people don't care about lovey-dovey stuff. They care about stuff that's going to hurt them physically. I mean, my dad told me the reason why he be- the reason why he believed in Christianity not because he not because he he gave a fuck about God or gave a fuck about heaven. He joined Christianity because he didn't want to burn for the rest of his damn life. I mean, if you can scare somebody, you can make them do anything you want, whether it's jail death, making them lose their house, lose their car, anything. People are going to always follow the person who is going to do something to them in those ways over the person who's just a good person. I'm a good person. I'm not going to put you to jail, kill you, take your house, take your car. You know, people's not going to really do everything I tell them to do, but the person, but the cop, who says, do what the fuck I say, or I'm going to lock your fucking punk ass up, they will listen to the cop because they're afraid of the cop. They're afraid of going to jail and getting their butt cheeks raped by fucking prison guys. You know, they're, you know, uh, the person who fears the people controls the people. And this America is a perfect example of that. Do you think people's going to listen to me or listen to fucking to or listen to fucking uh, the president or whoever got the authority to harm people in any sort of way, whether it's financially, uh, physically or whatever, they're going to all listen to that motherfucker. So hell, you know, um, harms, it talks about harming a person. So they're going to believe it because they don't want to be hurt. Fear, like Tupac said, is stronger than love. So that is what they pretty much scared people into believing the Bible because the Bible serves their agenda to make people be slaves to their rule. So I got to say I'm out.